Good evening. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? Hi. So, uh, a lot of bussy, pussy. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you oh. have a stressful day? Uh, no, I don't have a, a <laughs> empleado. <laughs> Estoy haciendo el almuerzo para mañana porque yo trabajo los sábados en mi clínica privada. Ah, entonces. Tienen que dejar listo ¿sí? todo. Sí, y tengo. Tengo inquilinos, aquí está la hija de mi esposo y, y su hijo. Entonces tengo que dejar comida o comprarles, pero mi esposo ya no quiere que compre comida. Ah. Así es que tengo que cocinar. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Laura. Good evening. Voy a poner el ventilador. Sorry, sorry. How are you, Laura? Bien. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> yeah. Soso. Se ve cansada. Ay, sí, me muero del sueño, el de velo, y sí me caló. Ay, sí, me siento. Hello, uh, good evening to everybody. Welcome to the beauty conference. Um, good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, very good. So uh, we're going to start with the video conference as, as I said before. Um, in this class, we're going to be working um, on an exercise. I remember that you told me uh, in a class in, in this week that you want an activity in order to practice, in order to speak, in order to, uh, to, to produce, okay? I remember that and we're going to be doing that uh, tonight, okay? Uh, first of all, I want to introduce the new section, the section number five. Just give me a second. I'm going to, to share my screen. Give me a second. The topic or the main title for this section is, have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a camel? That's the topic, okay? Uh, please let me know if, if you can see uh, my screen, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. This is the lesson objective that we have for tonight. And it says, in these sessions, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is uh, putting practice during the conversation. Um, en español, en esta clase aprenderemos sobre el presente perfecto. El presente perfecto se pone en práctica durante la conversación. So um, here, I have, um, here I have a conversation, okay? Uh, John and told um, I would like instead of listening the the audio okay uh, instead of instead of being listening um the <clears throat> sorry the audio I would like uh, you to participate I don't know if someone uh, can want to participate as a volunteer Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Herrera. Very good, excellent. Someone else. Voy a leerlo de mi cuaderno porque hay muy chiquita la letra. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, Patricia, I, I do with you. Perfect, Miss Peñate. Very good. So go ahead. 
Okay, Patty, you are Jen and I'm Todd, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already, already, I cannot cancel it. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden a, in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. You need okay. to rest so much. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Thank Very you, good. <laughs> okay, congratulations, girls. Um, well, then we have a conversation where we are going to find a, the present perfect. Okay, uh, we have there some questions a, or interrogative sentences. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do there um, right now is a research activity. First of all, uh, you are going to go to the internet and you are going to uh, look for definitions. You are going to uh, look for uh, sentences about the use of a uh, present perfect, okay? Uh, this activity is going to be in, in trios. And uh, one of you uh, is going to take notes of the informations that you there you are going to find on the internet. Uh, there we are going to find uh, definitions. We are going to find the structure uh, with um, with a, um, positive sentences or a, and also negative sentences and also uh, interrogative sentences. You can add you can add two or three examples for each one. And at the end, uh, one of you is going to expose. I, I'm saying one of you, but if you want to participate, uh, I mean, if the whole uh, team wants to participate, it can do it, okay? If you, the, the, the two persons that are going to be working together can do it or want to do it, you, you uh, are allowed to do it, okay? Are allowed to, to do it in that way. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Teacher, Tell me. Puedes no, no. En español, por favor. Claro. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es una actividad eh, de investigación. Eh, van a tener aproximadamente 10 minutos para buscar este, eh, el concepto de presente... Eh, perfecto, yo lo voy a extender más adelante, yo lo voy a extender más adelante, les voy a explicar las reglas y, y el uso este, del presente perfecto, pero primero necesito que ustedes tengan este, como un, eh, un previous knowledge para que nosotros podamos pues, caer en este, en, esta, en este tema porque es un poco complicado. Entonces, al, al, al tener un, un conocimiento previo de lo que investiguemos nosotros, eh, lo vamos a, luego yo lo voy a poder desarrollar este, y ustedes me van a, eh, esperaría pues que me puedan comprender eh, cómo se utiliza el presente perfecto. Eh, ¿Qué van a hacer? Eh, simplemente buscar definiciones, eh, buscar estructuras de la forma afirmativa, la forma negativa y la forma interrogativa del presente perfecto. Uno de ustedes o todos puede exponer en la videoconferencia general, el uso del eh, presente perfecto. Yo les voy a habilitar para que ustedes pues, eh, este puedan eh, 
ir escribiendo en la, en la pizarra que vamos a tener por ahí. Eh, eso sería todo. Van a tener 10 minutitos para poder trabajar y luego este, regresan a videoconferencia general y comenzamos y les explico este, el uso del presente perfecto. ¿Está claro ¿Cuántos, ahora? La... ¿Cuántos ejemplos quiere que busquemos? Dos por cada uno. Dos eh, de afirmativos, dos negativos y dos interrogativos. ¿Están claras las indicaciones? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, entonces voy a crear los, los breakout rooms right now. And let's start work. Bien, este no me sale para poder eh, hacer tríos. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas, ¿ok? Pensé que estaba la mayoría conectado, entonces. Y al parecer no, entonces lo voy a hacer en pareja. Nos vemos en 10 minutos. Fátima, ¿me escucha? Sí. Yes, Fátima, hello. Hello. Yo no me escucho mucho. No me escucha mucho. Ah, hoy sí. Okay, okay. Hay que hacer las oraciones. Oraciones, no era buscar conceptos. Ah, el concepto. Sí, bueno, aunque ese está en el, en el siguiente video, pero igual. Es, Busquémoslo. Present perfect. Bueno, lo ideal es buscarlo en inglés. Sí, yo encontré una, pero en español. Yo tengo que el present perfect is formed with the verb. Ah, no, pero esta es la estructura. No, está bien. Yo, si quiere le leo el que tengo, solo que está en español. Sí, sí, por favor. Dice, el presente perfecto en inglés se forma usando has o have y el participio pasado del verbo. Y sale un ejemplo, dice, I have watched the movie, o she has watched the movie. Ajá. Dice, uso del presente perfecto en inglés. Utilizamos el presente perfecto en inglés cuando estamos hablando de un evento que se inició en el pasado, y el evento aún tiene cierta influencia en el presente. Esta influencia podría ser algo que hayas experimentado y que todavía tiene un impacto en tu vida. También podría usarse para cosas que con el tiempo o una tarea que quedó inconclusa en el pasado y se completará en el futuro. Echemos un vistazo a cada ejemplo. El de una experiencia. I have been to India. Algo que cambia con el tiempo. Es el otro ejemplo de... Her English has improved since she joined the English life. Y dice que aquí otra, una tarea inconclusa es otro ejemplo. She has not finished cleaning the house. Dice, todas esas tareas se iniciaron en el pasado, pero algo acerca de ellas todavía se aplica en la actualidad. Algo acerca de ellas podría cambiar en el presente o futuro. Muy bien. Eso está en parte en el, en el video 5.3 donde explican el present perfect, a read y yet. 
Entonces, vaya, saquemos en inglés el la ah, escribamos ¿no? la aquí es que yo voy escribiendo todas las clases. Lo escribe todito, todito. Todo lo de la plataforma lo paso a, a un cuaderno. Mm, yo también hago eso? eso. Creo que hoy me ha atrasado. Bien, entonces. Eh, el presente, the present perfect is formed with the verb have más the past participle. Eso es importante porque eh, este, esta estructura está formada con el pasado. Ejemplo, have you been to a jazz club? La respuesta puede ser, yes, I've been to several, o no, I haven't been to, to one. Le um, algo complicado este tema. Uh, fíjese que lo que pasa es que no manejamos los verbos. A eso también. Entonces, la definición... Esta ya como ya, ya para hacer la tarea, present perfect. Dijimos que era, we use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Esa es la definición. Sí, sí. sí. When, bueno, present perfect, we, the present perfect, we use, we use, we use present perfect when we want to express action acciones. Uh -huh. Which began, las cuales empiezan en el pasado. In the, the past. In the past. And continue. In the present. In the present. Present. In the present. Definición. Ah, ahora la estructura. Uh, is. Bueno, ahí sería, el, está formada por el, el presente perfecto, eh, el verbo presente perfecto, the present perfect verb, plus, um, yeah. Yo. Ay, eso. Disculpe por los perros. Que... No, tranquila. También así están mis perritas aquí. Por eso cierro el micrófono. Yo también, pero... Ah, have or has. Plus, eh, presente perfecto. Present perfect verb plus complement. Esa es la, la estructura. Have or has. Ahí have or has, dependiendo de si se trata de una tercera persona o de un singular. Uh -huh. Y la... Y, y si nos pregunta, la, la estructura sería eso, how más... Eh, yes, past participle. Mm -hmm. Esa sería la, como la estructura. Plus a complement. Ajá. Ajá. Plus complement. Yes. ¿Me puede la estructura, por favor? ¿Perdón? ¿Me puede yes. repetir la estructura, por favor? Uh, es, um, the structure in bear how mm. plus participle. Plus complement. 
in the in the interrogative form. In the answers. Form. The subject plus have. Ah, uh, okay. In, in contraction, have. Uh -huh. Subject plus, plus being. Que sería part participle. Plus, uh, plus participle. Plus participle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And complement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plus complement. If the structure is the same for negative, similar. Mm -hmm. I think is haven't. I haven't. Haven't. The negative form haven't. Mm. Yeah. Vamos a, a crear algún ejemplo nosotros. ¿Qué dicen? The teacher say the two positive. Okay, uh, welcome again. Uh, we're going to be uh, working on this activity. I don't know if he's going to, what, I mean, um, which group is going to be the first one? Me teacher. Okay, Miss Peñate, go ahead. Okay, um, let me see if I... Ah, oh, pero tienes deshabilitada la, la opción to, oh, sorry. to to share screen. Okay, um, I had to tell you something. Um, in mm -hmm. order to explain, we are going to share just only uh, the whiteboard, no your computer. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay, let me see. Only the whiteboard teacher. Yes, the thing is that if we show uh, like a web page or a video, um, it, uh, the thing is mm. when we upload the, the video to YouTube, uh, they, they say that we have like copyright for that reason we have to delete uh, the video. So that, that's the reason why. Okay, tienes razón. And if if it's an image, there's the same problem too. Yes, the same problem. That that's the thing that we are avoid, okay. avoiding. Okay. 
but you can okay. use the whiteboard in order to try to explain. Okay. Right, I'm gonna place. Okay. And when we talk to present perfect tense, we have three uh, different structures. We have positives, negatives, and questions. Okay. This structure, let me show this part. Ah! <laughs> let me move that. Okay, the structure, it's like that. When we uh, create a affirmative sentence, we use the subject plus the auxiliary have, that is for first person, we use for first person, and the auxiliary has, if we use in third person, then we have the verb in past, I, in past, teacher, that it's really hard. Try to write. Don't worry, with don't worry. It. We have time. Uh, um, okay. Quiero ver ya. Vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer de otro modo. Yo creo que sí. This the structure when we use affirmative sentence. When we use a negative in negative form, we use a Similar instruction, we use the subject plus the auxiliary have in the in the word that we use to hacer una negación, to, to negar okay. algo, no? An adverb we not. Use not. The adverb not. An adverb not. The adverb not. And this is the contractive form to this thing. In case if you use in third person, you need use the auxiliary has. And this is the contractor. Let me move that again. This is the contractive form. Plus, the verb in past. Very. This is the negative structure. Then you we need to create a negative, an interrogative form. In interrogative form, we use a, the this is for an just no question. I mean, I understand the in this form. I don't know if I wrong or, or it's true. You are right. But we need have the auxiliary have and has if we use in third person plus subject plus verb in past. Uh, and the question mark. Very. This is the negative, the, the question form. To understanding that we write one example of, the, of this uh, structure. 
For example, where I can say, vamos a ver en Voodoo. And one, one fence in affirmative form, I have fried sushi. Ay, sushi. In this case, the verb, this verb is in past participle, but this is a, ay, a regular this verb. This is a regular, regular verb. verb. Yes. This is a regular verb. So uh, we can forget that. In negative form, Podemos poner, I have not or haven't. I have not tried sushi. This is negative form. And the question, one question. green color. We can use, have you tried sushi? Okay, this That's three all. examples are affirmative, negative, and question form. Excellent, very good. You had explained uh, this topic uh, so good. We're going to see more things uh, in a moment. And uh, let's see who is going to be the next one. Uh, I think you, Miss Garcia. No, teacher, the applause was for the compañero Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I thought it was a... Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if there is someone who wants to add uh, something else. Teacher, algo que noté. Yes. Es la forma de short form eh, para, para abreviar el sujeto con el verbo auxiliar a la hora de, de escribir, ya que es parecido cuando es en she, he, it, como si uno dice he is, pero en realidad no está diciendo he is, sino que es he has. Yeah. Um, what do you mean the third person? Yeah. Okay, yes. When we use the person like she, he, and it, we are going to use has. Has. So uh, in case of negative, we are negative, we are going to use hasn't. Then we have uh, some of the examples uh, that Miss Peñate uh, shared to us. Um, and she's using, um, in, in all of the cases, have. In, in, in the examples. Uh, we're going to see later in the video uh, what are the other uses of have. Uh, I don't know if someone else wants to participate or if not, I'm going to share the video. Someone else? Ya lo dejo bien claro. Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Let's start. Uh, let's start watching the video, and we are going to uh, go to the web page, the platform, and I'm going to share you the video. Well, first of all, the lesson objective, and then the video about uh, simple. Uh, I mean, uh, present perfect. Okay, here we have, in these sessions, we will study the present perfect with already, and yet, ask and answer questions using present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. In, eh, en esta clase, estudiaremos sobre el presente perfecto. Eh, aprenderemos a preguntar y responder usando el presente perfecto con el pasado participio de los verbos regulares e irregulares. Vamos a ver entonces el video. Hi, 
Can you see my, my screenshot? Can you hear the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so pay attention then. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. to the words already. Okay, uh, we are going to stop there and we are going to see the following. Then we have the present perfect with already and yet. The present perfect, we saw the structures before. Uh, We're going to be uh, working right now just um, in the first uh, group, okay, in the first column. We're going to be talking about how we construct sentences using interrogative form. We have there, have you been to a jazz club? Uh, has she ridden in streetcar? As we saw previously, um, we have the have as an auxiliary verb um, to use, in this case, uh, the past participle of the verb. Have you been, okay, has she written, uh, has he called it, have they eaten? Uh, we use the past participle. Um, and the past participle can be with a regular verbs or irregular verbs. I, I think you uh, have the list of the, most of the irregular verbs that are in English. I, I shared that document to you before. 
so in this uh, type of sentence, we are going to use that column, the past participle. When, is it, when we are going to place it? We are going to place it in the case of the questions after the subject, you, she, he, and they, okay? We can use the rest of the, of the um, pronouns if we want, but uh, if we have just four examples of it. Has or have is going to be always at the beginning. And then we're going to add a complement. Uh, the structures as we saw before with Ms. Peñate um, is have plus subject plus past participle plus a complement. And also we are going to add the question mark at the end. That's what we are going to do. So as she said, these are called a uh, short question, I mean short answers. Uh, why? Because we are going to answer with it yes or not. And also we are going to use the, uh, the affirmative sentences and also the negative sentences. Um, if we say yes, we're going to complete, complete it using the complete sentence. Yes, I've been to several, okay? The, the, this is a, a way to do it. When we say no, no, I haven't, okay? They're going to find uh, some, di some different uh, constructions, uh, contractions, sorry. I've, you've, uh, that, that are for I have, you have, he is, he has, she is, uh, or cheese in this case, uh, his, cheese, it's, that are for he has, she has, and it has. With, with, like, like with the, uh, the close, uh, the close lips, like with, uh, and using our teeth, like with, okay, they've, they've, uh, that are for we have, they have, and also we have, and also uh, the negative, the negatives that are like haven't or hasn't for have not and has not. Uh, as you see, we are going to find there um, the third person and also the first person and third person plural with those. Well, what about what about the uses? Give me a second. I'm going to share to you. Okay, here we about. have. We use present. For, pre for present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus a complement. Uh, then we have an example they, they, uh, uh, of it, right? But it says that the verb has or has will depend on the person we will talk about it. We will talk. So if we use the person, we are going to use what? Have or has? If we use third person singular, we are going to use have or has? Has, teacher. Has, has, has. exactly. And what about the uh, first person and third person um, plural? What are we going to use? Have. Have, have. okay, have. have. Try to remember always that because uh, we are going to use. It said that we use present perfect when we want to express actions with began in the past and continue in the present. Uh, also, let's check it out, uh, one of the examples there. She has worked in the bank for five years. That's mean that she begins to do that activity, she begins to work, but he's continuing working on the bank. So that's one of the uses. Uh, we're going to use the present perfect for actions with began in the past and continue in the present. Then we have the other example. I don't know if someone wants to read it. Someone wants to read that example, the second one. We have... Hello, you there? Hello. Repeat. Can you please, please? Okay, there is someone who wants to read the second example. Hay alguien, un voluntario que quiera leer la segunda oración. 
Ah. <clears throat> okay, Miss. Go ahead. We have mm -hmm. had the same car for 10 years. Okay, very good. So there we have the, the, the a sentence, okay? The affirmative sentence. We have uh, some other uses um, that we're going to be uh, working tomorrow. Uh, what, what we're going to do right now, it's go to working pairs and you are going to create um, um, an activity. Well, in this case, it's a conversation. Uh, actual conversations using the a perfect perfect okay um remember you can if you want you can take as an example the previous uh the previous conversations that we that we have at the beginning in the in the previous uh video that we saw to tonight you can take it in that way Le, let's start working because this activity is going to be in pairs and everybody is going to participate okay Okay, teacher. Okay, so go ahead. Teacher, can you repeat me the instruction, please? Claro, este, lo que vamos a hacer es crear una conversación similar a la que estamos viendo anteriormente en el video y luego van a participar en la videoconferencia general. Ok, teacher. Y en este caso, porque ustedes son, son tres, este, adapten esa conversación para tres personas. Hola. Hi, teacher. Me Hi. Se quedó solita, vale. Permítanme mover la otro grupo. Thank you. Bien, en este disculpe, las interrumpo. En este caso, como son tres, porque mi Adriana no tenía este con quién trabajar. Traten de adaptar la conversación este, que teníamos anteriormente para tres personas, ¿ok? Y luego van a participar en la videoconferencia general. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Vaya, es un diálogo. Es, el, es, un, es diálogo. un diálogo el que vamos a hacer. Un diálogo ah, okay, similar sí. al que estábamos viendo anteriormente en el video. Ok, bien. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Bien. Yeah. Empecemos entonces. Está Adriana, Fátima y somos tres. Y yo. Sí, ah, nosotros. Es que estaba aquí. Ok. Supongamos que si comienzo yo, supongamos. Eh, <risa> y saludo a Fátima. Hi, Fátima. Eh, Puedo preguntarle cómo estuvo su día hoy. Pero ahora voy a buscar una cosa. Entonces me podría preguntar algo. How was your day? Ah, pero ya estaría pasado. ¿Cómo es? No, pues Pero igual. ¿Ah? Podría preguntarle, how you been in your weekend? Sí, como how primero un saludo, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. 
how was your day? Para que ella me explique. Porque como me va a decir. ¿Cómo está Don Mitro? ¿Cómo está su día? Entonces, Fátima, usted, ¿qué me respondería, digamos, hablando de alguna. Eh, Usted ha estado. Usted me puede decir he estado. Oh, bueno, I have. I have. I have. I have been cooking. I have been reading. Reading the the, the newspaper. The, the newspaper. I've, yo pienso ah, que la pregunta entonces, sí tendría que llevar el had been, la pregunta. Uh -huh. The question. Because the answer is in present perfect. Uh -huh. You can say, uh -huh. how was your week, for example. Pensando en que empezó el lunes y hoy es viernes. Uh -huh. How was your, how, ¿cómo sería? How you how you been your week? Algo así. Ajá, voy a voy a ver cómo sería esa pregunta. Ah, veamos la, la el, el, el chat. diálogo. Ajá. It's good to see you. To, have you been Have you been in New Orleans? No. Sí. Has estado en New Sí. Ajá. Así dice. Have you been in New Orleans? Por eso, one? pero. Sí, le está preguntando que si había estado ahí por bastante tiempo. O sea, uh -huh. Y él le dice que solo por unos pocos días, pero en este caso, bueno. Ah. Porque así, nosotros vamos a preguntar de cómo estuvo la semana. O podemos fingir también como que en otro lugar. Ah, como que fue... Viajó, ¿de okay. dónde viene? Mm -hmm. Fátima, cuéntenos. ¿Dónde ha andado? ¿Cómo te has ido? ¿Cómo te has ido? ¡Ay, Dios! Hello, uh, welcome, welcome back. Uh, well, don't worry because I know that maybe some of you haven't participated because I was checking uh, all the records rooms and I know that you haven't finished. What are we going to do? Okay, you can uh, get in contact using WhatsApp in order to complete uh, this activity, this conversation activity. Uh, you are going to have the whole weekend in order to do it. And we are going to participate uh, this coming Monday. Also, there is an extra activity. And this is a little bit more for memorizing. Uh, we're going to bring for this coming Monday, 10 irregular verbs, 10 irregular verbs, the, the, the most you like it, the most you think uh, are going to use. Uh, for this coming class, then that means this coming Monday. And I will be asking you here in the here in the video conference. I don't know if you want me to explain the the instructions into Spanish. Is it clear what I'm saying? I Is understand it? that we need to learn. Or memorize 10 irregular verbs for the yes. Monday. Yes. And we we challenge you. You are going to tell me those uh, 10 verbs in the in uh, next video past conference. Participle. It must be past in participle. Uh, but in this case, we are going to learn in, in this way. Uh, present, past, and past participle. Present, uh, past, and past participle. And also, uh, you are going to add the meaning in Spanish in order to try to memorize that, in order to learn those uh, adverbs. Because in that way, we're going to be adding more vocabulary to 
uh, the ones that we have, okay? And with the conversation, with the conversation, you are going to uh, contact your uh, classmates in order to complete that activity that you are going to be developing also this coming month. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, thumbs up. Thumbs up if, if it is clear. Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. So um, because of the time that's been all for tonight, and I will see you this coming Monday, okay? Uh, we're going to be uh, working, we're going to continue working on the uh, uh, present perfect because there, there are a lot of things to, to learn here because it's so extensive. It's so, so extensive. Uh, so for that reason, we're going to continue with this topic this coming Monday. I don't know if you have any question. Do you have any question before leaving? No, not the chance. No? Everything is clear. Okay. Uh, as I said, as I always said, uh, if you have any question, please let me know using uh, the WhatsApp group because I, I'm, uh, I try to, to answer you as soon as possible. And remember that you need to complete uh, all the exercises of the platform, at least the 80%. I'm just uh, reminding that because you must do it in order to get your certification, your diploma. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, okay. when, when is the last day to we have a class? This coming, this coming Thursday. Okay. Thank you. This is the last the last uh, video conference that we that we are going to have, and it's supposed that uh, at that time you must complete uh, the final test. If you complete it already, don't worry. Okay, it's okay. But if you haven't, please start working because it must be completed for this coming Thursday. Thank you. Okay, blessings to everybody, and see you on Monday. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. Bye. Good night. Bye bye.